The Rude English Barber Shop is proudly sponsored by Manscaped, the best in the below the belt grooming. Manscaped are a premium grooming brand and creators of wireless trimmers designed specifically for men's grooming, offering precision engineered grooming tools for your personal belongings. If you groom yourself in the downstairs region, you've most likely tried every trimmer to make sure you don't run into any complications. I've had some bad experiences with grooming with tools which aren't specifically designed for the job. And once you've made that mistake, you do everything in your power not to do it again. However, the market hasn't really catered for this problem until now. That's where Manscaped comes in. They have designed and revolutionized the male grooming trimmers, the Lawn Mower 3.0. The team spent 18 months perfecting the perfect tool so men could groom in comfort without that looming fear of trimming accidents hanging over them. The team have turned what used to be a scary mundane task into something now which is an enjoyable experience, which all men deserve and give you great results. Once you try the Lawnmower 3.0, you will instantly notice their third generation tech featuring cutting edge ceramics blade to reduce those dreaded accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology and the coolest feature, the LED light, which will illuminate grooming areas for closer and precise trimming. They've also upgraded to a 7000 RPM motor with quiet stroke technology, along with their water resistant technology, which allows you to groom in comfort in the shower. It has a USB charging dock and the battery will last up to 90 minutes so you can take your time, relax and enjoy your shaving experience. So by visiting the Rude English Barbershop today, we'd like you to benefit from an exclusive offer for all of our upper class customers. You will get 20% off your purchase along with free shipping. All you have to do is head to manscaped.com and use the code FRED. We'd like to personally thank Manscaped for teaming up with our barber shop, and we hope you enjoy your visit. Hello there. Hello there, Lord Farquhar. It is an absolute pleasure to hear your voice again after such a long time since you've come in and had your hair cut. Oh, truly, no, you flatter me, sir. Honestly, the pleasure is all mine. Of course I can book you in for a haircut. Uh, yes, I, yeah, that is quite soon. Uh, I do have someone who appears to be sitting on my chair right now. Uh, I don't think they were actually booked in here. Uh, let me check. No, they actually weren't. Oh, d no, don't worry about them, Lord Farquaad. I can get rid of them as soon as possible. But it looks like they won't be getting too much of uh, a full trim here. Not much I can do with... Uh, this customer, not like you, Law Farquaad, we can do so much with uh, your style and look. I know that you have a very specific look, and I'd like to take my time with you as much as possible, making sure that you guessed it, that every single trim is precise, precise, and done with precision throughout your cut. Uh, this customer here, don't worry, uh, Law Farquaad, we, we do permit me just one second to speak to the customer. Thank you. That you're not you're not a lord lady, anyone of importance. That you, don't worry, just I thought. Yes, just I thought Lord of Farquhar. No, they're not like you. No, they're not like any of the patrons that we serve here at the barber shop here. The English barber shop there. So don't worry, I can risk them on their way as quick as possible and get you suitably set up in your favourite seat here and give you your favourite haircut. Absolute pleasure. I cannot wait to have you in the shop or have everything prepared to how you like it, of course. I know it's been such a long time that we'd be happy to receive you again. Absolutely, we'll be looking forward to it and, of course, giving you the best haircut that we can possibly treat you with today. That's great. Oh, no, no, the customer, this customer wanted to get the same treatment. No, of course, only for you, Lord Farquhar. Yes, yes. Well, of course, money does talk here. Yeah. And uh, let's say this customer doesn't look like they are indeed a patron here at the barber shop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, 
slightly, they look a bit scruffy, but um, if I'm able to do something, I'm no doubt can smart them up a little bit, yes. Uh, not your sort of standards, though. Don't worry. I know, I know, Justin, of course. Absolutely. Well, we will see you here momentarily. Great, I will get on with this current customer here. What I'll be giving them just quickly is a hair wash to make sure that nothing uh, is contaminated when you're right. And uh, get them all cleaned up, get them a trim, you know, as best we can get them and send them on their way. And we look forward to seeing you here. Excellent. I know crosswise they shouldn't really be here at the moment if you were coming in. Yes. Okay. Cheerio. Look forward to them. Okay. Do forgive me there. Um, I was just on the phone to one of our loyal patrons here at the barbershop who was coming to Far Farquhar. You may have heard of him around this area. He is quite popular around here. Uh, we do serve Lord Farquhar here, and he is a patron of our barbershop here. And uh, of course, whenever he wishes to have his haircut, that we might. We would like to oblige him as much as possible and get everything prepared for him, as he's a very important individual. And might I say, you're probably a little bit the polar opposite of that. You're not so much of an important individual. In fact, uh, you're, you're the opposite of uh, that. And so I'm not able to offer you, you know, the most important extreme uh, gentleman's hair color trim, card shave, uh, hair wash, and everything. Though. What I am able to do with someone like you is help you on your way, and no doubt why you're here today. Did one of my colleagues let you in around the back there? I just, sorry, I just, I don't recall actually an appointment at the moment, especially if Lord Fox. No, just left me. Great. No doubt they uh, didn't want to serve you. Thought it'd be funny that I would have to serve you. Uh, uh, not that there's anything funny about you coming in today. I'm sure that we are grateful in some way, possibly. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I believe that you haven't um, been introduced properly, so le let us start again here. Hello there. Welcome to our judgment of show. For ladies and gentlemen, of course, we serve everyone here. And here we like to make sure that every customer that comes in gets the full first class treatment, trims, uh, everything is going to be really smart around there and uh, and you will leave feeling refreshed, relaxed, happy and like you've had a really nice trim and a haircut. So all these boxes we like to take on your, your visit, okay? A normal customer shall we say. Um, I'm not so sure on you at the moment, I have not seen you in here before. So, uh, I don't know, like I said on the phone, money talks and uh, Lord Farquhar, I don't think you see uh, down here, you've got a picture of Lord Farquhar there, whoever, you know, is the patron of this establishment here, with all of our English patrons uh, here, sponsor this, this, uh, or donate or customers here at the barber shop, we have uh, the game shop you might be uh, remembered down there, and, the wrapping shop, and uh, suit shops, and the airliners, passengers, and everyone else all along there. And uh, they're the customers that I come in and give the first class treatment to, and they are a priority. So if you indeed become one of those people, then I would certainly give you the, the absolute utmost respect. But uh, unfortunately, you don't deserve that at the moment. Okay. So, I'm just going to take a look. What have you come in here for today? Please do not humor me with by saying a haircut. Of course, you come in for a haircut. Right, okay. Right, all instruments will be sanitized, of course. And uh, if you've had a period where you haven't got your haircut for a long time, by the looks of you, you haven't. Um, then, yes, they will be fully sanitized again. No doubt, uh, maybe thrown away in your case. Okay, so you've come in uh, trim today, okay. Yes, well, we could do a trim around there, and may I suggest just by examining your head, uh, yeah, just 
examining your head there, yeah. Okay, might I suggest a hair wash because you look like you've failed to um, do one of the most basic of things and wash your hair and neglected your hair in uh, many forms. So I think that might benefit you properly instead of just using the bottle to dampen your hair, wet your hair and cut your hair. Of course, the quality of your cut won't be any different, but I think just for your own sense of personal hygiene that perhaps washing your hair instead of spraying it would be beneficial for you. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to pick you off that high seat there. I like uh, all my customers to be the same sort of level. It's very comfortable and plus you can't move anywhere. I'm going to take you over to our base and get your hair washed. Okay, we'll just pop your head in the sink. I'll run the taps over. Okay, run it around your head, give you a little bit of scrub massage. Then I will pop a towel on, wash my hands and get you back now for your haircut. Okay, right. So if you'll just come with me and I can direct you down to get your hair washed this way. Uh, 
as you shall have from there and here. Though I suggest just a gentle trim around, just you know, take some of the weight off. Uh, yes, around these places and at the top, if you see there. Okay, so in the top here, we can just take about that much off. Okay, so are we happy with that? I mean, if we go from the top there and then layer it around the back there as well. Okay, so I think just pulling it through. Yeah, so probably about three quarters of an inch or an inch uh, would work well. And you just take that volume out. That would really smart and you are a bit there, and this will be all nice and and uh, blow dried out at the end or something along those lines. I think we play by a little bit with you. Okay, right. So usually when um, the barber is now going to cut and trim your hair, it will be much appreciated if you perhaps don't look at me so much. Uh, don't get me wrong, uh, anyone else would be fine, but it's just that thousand mile stare of yours is, is really might put me off and uh, I'd rather concentrate on your hair. Okay. So if you just really enjoy the barbershop here, it's a very smart barbershop that we have here. And uh, I'll just get round, trim your hair, I'll let you know what I'm doing as we go along, okay? So all this talking, I think your hair is dried up a little bit, so we'll just give that a little bit more of a damp and shine. for that when you are at the barber 
shop and they're cutting your hair, they're trimming away and they're trimming hair and then the scissors are still carrying just a little bit of hair in them as well so when, as they pull it away invariably just sort of tickles your face as it falls down and it's a very very amateur affair when you do that it's always important when you're cutting hair as you trim the hair and then to make sure there's no hair cut in there it is common decency for the customer to do a little bit of extra snips to make sure the hair has fallen out away from the customer's face so it's just little things like that that we make sure we do here at the barber shop so you've got to think about the first class and the customer uh, experience that they're going to get and here you know you've never got your hair cut here before that you remember that this is a barber shop where you can come in and you of course get best haircut style and experience possible it's like I said if you just you know keep looking some rust don't look at me directly in the eyes that would be so great side there. We'll take a little bit of the volume out uh, around here and then what we'll do we'll get the other scissors and then we'll start laying a layer in along the side there. Okay, so if you can just keep your head still there for me. Okay, that's great. As you can see the improvement straight away, I don't know if you can see the mirror down there. No. <laughs> I'm sure I'll turn around shortly. Usually the uh, the customer that comes in gets to look at themselves and see the progress, but how very vain, of course you don't wish to do that. You should trust in the barber that they'll do the right thing. And the surprise at the end is when you get to turn around and get to see what the barber has created on your head and you get to have that full experience of uh, something new, different. Uh, that's where the trust in your barber shop, your barber, is uh, comes into play there. and uh, a skilled barber can do it of course with scissors 
all the hair underneath like that and you just slowly trim as you go up the hair on the back so be doing this on your back and side so pull the hair up and then go gently keep trimming as if you're getting a bus cut okay and be quick motions like that okay So far we've laid in on the top there. Okay, so I'm just gonna perform the same thing on the other side, and then we will get trimmed just around here to really smarten you up a bit. And then the blow dry, pop some product in it or something along those lines, make it look presentable. being in this area for long. Which well, just that I've never seen you in this area before. I just wondered if you were an actual resident around here or you're just a sort of a passing through yeah. a distant traveller maybe passing through. What is that? No doubt. Places, houses around here, of course, are a little bit more on the pricey side, shall we say. Though uh, I wouldn't have thought that someone like you, well, maybe previously when you walked in, that uh, your haircut did not suggest that you would live in this area. But after you've finished what I'm creating right now, this magnificent, spectacular piece, this ensemble and performance on your head, then. I think that you would probably look like you do actually come from the, this area here, around here. Okay, so uh, there would be a drastic difference here, I'm quietly confident. Or have they just laughed your way? 
Uh, so you've, you're familiar with uh, other establishments around here. Okay, so what have you been to the game store? Numerous times? Well, I would have thought you were probably a gamer or something along those lines anyway. So. Have you been to the suit store? Oh, they do wonderful suits in there. Did you get uh, measured up? Yes, and shirts and the full works. Oh, brilliant bespoke suits there as well. If you get measured up, they obviously it costs just a little bit on the expensive side there. Though the experience is exceptionally good. Yes, they have some uh, great suits that have been there uh, many a times. As well, like all the owners around here, uh, are jolly nice individuals and uh, really helpful and, and caring and, and friendly, exceptionally friendly. I think all the, the shops around in this area are probably the most friendliest people that I've actually uh, had the pleasure to meet. But they they truly are some some wonderful individuals in there. I think I think that uh, we would really like them. I don't know if they they would like you. Uh, mind you, uh, how about the tattoo shop around here? I know it's a little bit adverse for an area like this. Uh, oh, you went in there? Oh, you did? Oh, then you got a tattoo. You've gone in there twice and had two tattoos. Oh, golly. Uh, I, I thought that the shop was set up just to human people like you. I didn't realize you can actually go in there and get a tattoo. Well, that's good for you. Fascinating. Yes. Well, bravo. Well done. Yeah. Each to his own. Okay. Okay. So I'm still just layering up around here. But I think that. So just keep your head there, don't don't move anymore. Okay, perfect. This is what it requires. Let me choose my fingers here. So I'll show you when it went blow dried. So when it's blow dried and uh, you've got it trimmed there, that uh, bit of hair around here, around your neck, that will fall over in that position and should curl up around there, which will be quite nice for you. 
I'm sure. Okay, so we we'll get a bit more layering. Stone rounds there. Just like on the other side. Okay. Just keep looking straight ahead. That's great. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go around the back and uh, the hands shouldn't really take too long around there. And, uh, what I'll be using is my slightly larger layering scissors around there and uh, smarten that up around there. This should really blend perfectly in there, right? So if you can give your head just nice and still with me there. Okay, and just look straight ahead over there for me. That would be great. Yes, yes, absolutely. This is this is looking great. Perfect. I think that you would really like this haircut that we will give you. Okay. Unfortunately uh, time does not appear to be on our side though, that is the only thing. And uh, being perfectionist I would like to continue this masterpiece, but though you are not a normal customer, are you? And uh, Law of Arcor could be here any moment now. And this, my goodness, this is a very important decision, which uh, I think uh, Law of Arcor comes in. Right. I think what, what I'll do is uh, just quickly finish off and, and blow dry here. Yeah. Okay. So. This is looking a lot better when you first came here. No offense, but I had uh, to quite, quite an appalling haircut which you were sporting there, if you could call that haircut. Okay. Well, I must. 
just said that I think we are just about nearly there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get the clippers and just trim ever so firmly around or precisely around here and quickly a little bit around here as well. Okay, just make sure you're looking extra trim. I must say that is an absolute masterpiece of haircut which I have created for you here. So I think we will give that a quick blue try along there. How does that sound? Okay, and we could style it uh, just a little bit over there. So I run my hands through there. We're going to style it and allow the hair to come up on there. Okay, so we'll so we pull it up a bit like that and around the sides here and around the other side as well and that will really look good on you that will look absolutely superb and an amazing job that I've done again congratulations Absolutely superb. Congratulations me. Now I'm just gonna pop a little bit of product hairspray in here, just gently. A little bit above here. Okay, just close your okay. So we don't want to put too much in here because we really got that nice. 
nice deep flowing back there, so it's just a stairway, any potential wind. Okay. you would expect in a uh, shop like this so if I could just turn you around and like Pleasure, blah blah blah, extra, you know, all that stuff. Please go take care, Julia. 